All right, let's let's take a look at what um, a real coach has to say, okay? Um, that coach over at Phoenix Suns, all he wanted to do was cry. He just wanted to cry and say that Kevin Durant was he he was fouled. He was fouled. The Spurs fouled him when we were up by 20, and then they fouled him when, when we were up by 18, and then they fouled him when we were up by 15, all the way until we were down by one. They fouled him. We they fouled us. They fouled us all the way till we were down by one. Get out of here, dude. All right, let's see. Let's see what Popovich has to say. Popovich, a real coach. Let me. I'm just kidding. Frank Vogel's a good. He's a good coach. I'm sorry, but yeah, that was bull, dude. Stop crying. Anyone gonna talk? I don't hear anything. Because it's muted. They learned the lesson from LA to be mentally tough. It's just one game later. I mean, yeah. you know, to respond it's, it's one game. They responded great after a 30 point loss. I couldn't be prouder of them. They just. As we always talk about, pounded the rock. They just kept playing through it no matter what. We made a gazillion mistakes. But it's a game of mistakes, and so does every team. Uh, but we just kept playing. And that's Bro not take the timeouts, then blame the refs. Yeah, it, it, we, we were just, we were just, we were, up by, we were up by 20. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's the, the best thing uh, about the group. I was really proud of them. Did you see anything different in how they handled those mistakes coming off of that, that Clipper game? Like I have no did. idea what you, what you mean. Did you see anything in that? Like, what did, what did they do differently handling those mistakes tonight than what they did? They probably made the same mistakes. Popovich. Popovich. Popovich, what? Why you got to be like, Pop, you the GOAT. You the GOAT, okay? You the greatest coach of all time, okay? But come on. Come on. The, the Spurs did not make the same mistakes as they did. The, come on. We watched the game. Pop, Pop, come on, bro. Come on. We know, we saw the adjustments. The Spurs made a concerted effort to make sure that Jeremy Sohan was in the paint more often um, because that's his bread and butter. It was often times where they allowed him to be more of a off-ball uh, uh, player, make his cuts. He made better reads as far as passing. The team as a whole made better reads. I just think the spacing was terrible. The spacing was still bad. But, like, come on. Come on. He did say probably. Okay, we'll give him that. That's a great Vogel impression. Thank you. We were up by 20. How did they come? How did they come back? It's, they must have had us. They fouled us. They fouled us. Give me my fine. On the, on the steal by Kelvin, you look like Trey really tight. He's going to call Adam Silver tonight. Trey was, uh, you can see why he's the ultimate competitor. You know, he almost had a couple other steals that were big time. Uh, but he's just, he's a winner. He does everything he can. And he double teamed tonight and he uh, went after the ball. He kept the pace. Uh, he was fantastic. Now, Pop Frank Fogel said that that was a foul. What do you think Papa say? Like, well, he's going to quiet about it. Then he'll do his own Frank Fogel impression. <laughs> what did the foul? No, I didn't draw that up. <laughs> are you happy with the way each of those guys kind of handled those closing frenetic? Well, you know, the best part was they, they knew the position they were in. You know, they knew that uh, we were going to have to foul, but uh, we spent time talking about double teaming first just to see if you can get a steal. You don't have to just go over and whack somebody. There's, you know, there's time enough to do that, and they were patient in the double team. And that's when Keldon was able to make the steal. Nice. Overall for Victor. Bobo is lazy. What? I don't think Bobo can be compared to Wimby. I've seen Bobo do some some of the things Wimby has done. Uh, oh, I've not seen Bobo do some of the things. Well, you can't compare the two either, even for like love of the game um, comparison. Like Wimby, he's into basketball because he genuinely just loves the game of basketball. I think. 
Bobo might have been. Well, Bobo didn't always like be into basketball, right? I don't know. I, I feel like even on a mental aspect, you can't really compare the two. But no, no, th there's no, there's no compare. Wim Wimby's like way better. Hey, people that say that are just haters. They do the same thing with uh, other players that are tall and just compares c compare Wimby automatically. It's like that's not fair. Tonight, um, whether another sort of slow start and had a nice strong strong finish. Were you happy to see that? Uh, you know, he just kept. He just he's playing through it. Like I said, he's learning the game. He's learning. Uh, am I seeing correct Spurs playing Phoenix again in Phoenix on Thursday? Yes, sir. Uh, what he can do and what he can't do, you know, in this league, what he's got to improve. Uh, but he never stops trying, and he's a quick learner. You know, the second half was much better than the first half. Uh, so we just got to get him feeling comfortable from the beginning of the game, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that was fine. Ain't nothing, nothing there. Not, nothing really there to talk about. Um, this was funny. Wimby arrived. That's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Maybe we should do something with, maybe that should be a shirt. Should that be a shirt? Oh, <gasps> I just got an idea. I just got an idea for a shirt. I just got an idea. I just got an idea. I just got an idea. I won't say what it is. I just got an idea. I know, I know exactly who to collab with. Yep. Yeah. I just got an idea. All right. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. I just, oh my God, stuff is coming. Oh, it's going to be dope. Anyways. Um, good stuff from pop. Nothing really there. Uh, I do find it very hilarious though, that Frank Vogel, uh, wanted that fine. He really wanted that fine. Now, if they lose on Thursday, he needs to shut up. Dude, you're up by 20, bro. Like when you're up by 20, the focus should be on your team. Hey, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have been, you know, we, we shouldn't allow that to happen. Like it shouldn't have came down to that. You don't know, sit here and complain about it. It was a foul. Kevin Durant was fouled. Blah, blah, blah. Like you guys fouled us too. I saw KJ get fouled. I saw Wimby get fouled. I saw, I saw Trey Jones get fouled. I thought it was a pretty decently uh, officiated game actually. Like as a whole. I mean, they missed some, missed some calls here and there, but come on, dude. Come on. K KD KD should have gave up that ball. He's he's getting double team, and Keldon just out muscled him. And if he's talking about the if he's saying like it was fouled uh, after after the fact, because yes, K or uh, not KG, I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, Trey Jones did grab his arm, but it was like after the steal had already happened. I don't know, but we'll see. KD definitely angry in two days. Well, I I expect to see a stronger showing from Wimby as well. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll come angry too. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. That's a bad, um, that's a bad Shannon impression. I try it though. I try it.